Howdy partners, it's your buddy John here. Welcome back to Stellaris. Last time we left off, we finally started to meet some other alien civilizations, which um, kind of brings up a few interesting problems. Big thing is we need to improve our military fleet. The first extraorbital cores only has a firepower of 134, so we're going to send them home. We're going to park them over our home world here, Texaris, and we're going to start work on a better fleet. Uh, we can actually put down some solar panel networks. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That'll give us some extra credits coming in. I like that idea, we'll do that. Let's get some new Corvettes rolling out. Although, what I might do is get some new classes of Corvettes. So uh, let's see here, what do we have here? We have the Seper. All of them start to seem to start with that Seper. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to just create a new one here. We have different cores we can go through from here, which I think uh, changes what you can put on it. So I think I am going to go with... We currently have the Interceptor Core as our main one here on the Sepper Elegion. Uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with a Striker Core. I think that gets us a little more firepower, which I like. We're going to go ahead and put a Coil Gun. Hmm. I'll go with that there, actually. Let's do that. And we can actually put some stuff down here. What do we got? We only have fission reactors, which is okay, I guess. Um, I'm hoping to get some research done here into some shielding, but we do not seem to have that at the moment. Okay, we need a name for this. Um, Sepper... Oops. What's up here? Uh. Aldicron. Nope. Aldicron? <laughs> I'm trying to combine different names down there. I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of naming system here. I might, um. We'll just have to see how things go. The Sepir Aldicron will go with that, I think. Yes. There we go. We actually got a colony ship here we need to send out. All right, let's find a good place. Um, we have some worlds right down here in the Cypuk system. Might as well. Although, I think I had been talking about heading out to one of these systems here. Nothing there. It seems like I had something planned out for these guys, and I just can't remember what it was. I'm going to send you up here. Requires a scientist. Oh, there's nobody here. Uh, anybody available? Not really. Okay, let's, um... Lifespan plus 25 years. Uh, research speed for void craft. You would be good for something else. Let's not take you. I think I will take you. There we go. And I'll put you there. And you're gonna go exploring up this way. Survey system. And... Survey system... Survey system, survey system, and survey system, and then from there you can just head home. All right, there we go. Oh, let's go ahead and unpause it, get this a rolling. There we go. All right, let's uh, get these guys home, start building up the fleet, and let's take a look again real quick, kind of go back over who we've met so far. So we have, well... These are guys that are in our space. Oh. Countered some alien vessels in Assam. Alright, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Let me just slow this down real quick. So we've met um, the Buvhandan civilization. Uh, they are currently at the start of their atomic age. Um, can't really do anything about them right now. My plan is to eventually incorporate them into the Empire. Uh, I, I would probably need to change my name because it would no longer be the Texarii Herds because we'd have someone who's not Texarii within it. Uh, we have the Empire of Zukai Mandor, who I think are our neighbors directly to the south. No, you're not. Who are you? Evading hostile fleet. Oh, hold on a second. Who is this? Oh, okay, you're on the other side of the galaxy there. Alright, so we have you. 
We have the Quixlifrin mandate. Um, you are also on the other side of the galaxy. We have the Vag Uras Star Syndicate. These guys, I'm kind of concerned about. They are space Nazis, basically. <laughs> Uh, they are fanatical purifiers, which means they want to kill all other alien life forms, and they are directly across from us here on the next arm over. So they're going to be a big reason for us to keep up our military strength. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we have the Valdari Union. Uh, you guys are okay. I, I think we can be friends with you. Um, we're fairly similar, to be honest. We have the Von Akan Confederacy, who are directly to our south. I am going to try to keep relations up with you. We have an embassy going here at the moment, which is good. I think I like that. Let's go ahead and start this back up here. All right. Oh, we seem to have some other neighbors here. Let's investigate those new aliens do that uh, you are exploring this right yes you are what we got here so we're looking for I don't think I can colonize that what is this one a tundra world I I might be able to settle that what what is our let me see open this up real quick uh, the text REI how do I look here we go uh, desert preference, so no, tundra wouldn't be that great. We're looking for an arid or a tropical. What was this one? That one was an ocean world. That would not work out. So really, none of these here are any good for us. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back here to the home system, speed things along. Alright, let's get that going, and I'm going to build a Aled Ekron class and an Elegion. Let's get a couple of those going there. They're not too great, and I'm hoping to replace them here soon. We need to get some more energy coming in. Where is our... Where's he at? Oh, there he is. I want you. If I can. No, I, I don't want to change your name. Special I just want to select you. Complete. There you go. Uh, the Hisma Republic. Oh, okay. Hello. I bring greetings from the Reverend Alder Kag Orim, the elected leader of the Hisma Republic. We believe in the right of all sentient beings to fulfill their individual spiritual needs, and we trust that an enlightened species such as yourself shares this sentiment. We can learn much from each other, Hisma. Uh, as fellow Star Explorers, we salute you. We shall properly greet you in battle. Now, let's go with that, I think. Yeah, I like that one. Let's look at them real quick. Where are they? Hisma Republic. Okay, they are fanatic xenophiles, and they are spiritualists, so we'll get along fairly well with you, I think. Uh, where are you at, exactly? Oh, we're actually very close. So I'm going to go ahead and send an embassy to you. Establish an embassy. There we go. Although that does mean we're going to have to rush to grab some systems here. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and send this colony ship. Where is he? Right here. System I'm going to send you to Cybux. We'll go ahead and do that. Colonize a planet, and I will put that. Do we have one here that just has food on it? No. Evading I'll set that there. Fate. Construction complete. All right. Who's evading what? Station under attack. Oh, okay. Um. Looks like we need to grab our fleet here and send them on over. There we go. Do that. And, oops, not what I wanted to do. There we go. I 
I think we'll get there in time. It's just hope. Election. Uh, who do we have here? Fertility Preacher, plus 10 food. Regolid of Gotha has been re-elected. Okay. That's fine. Mandate unfulfilled. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm not sure exactly what that's about. I'll probably need to send my fleet over here next. And do we have any planets here that are habitable? I don't think we do. Um... From there, I'm going to send you over here. My, oh, I already have that set up. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, he's heading down there. That's fine. We we'll have to send our fleet out that way. Why are you not engaging? Get in there. There we go. Okay. Hostile fleet engaged. Research complete. Okay. That's great. Um reveals resource alien pets. It's interesting. Or clear tile blocker. What exactly will this get us? Strategic resource, these docile, non-sentient creatures can easily be domesticated. Yeah, whatever. We'll do that. Alright, enough of that. Let's just watch the battle. Situation log updated. Oh, one of the, oh, I forgot. I had already divided up fleets into <laughs> different jobs here. We have the second extraorbital cores, we have these guys. Uh, we need to come up with clever names for these fleets. Alright, let's um, go with the first... T Oops, what am I doing? Territorial... Um... Guard. <laughs> what else was I going to call it? That slipped my mind. And you guys will be the first first extra orbital task force? I don't know. I, th I think I'll keep these guys as a smaller fleet to be jumping around. I'll probably send these guys off to explore. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and send them up here. Just to take a quick look, see what we got up there. If there's something I want to colonize. Well, we've already got this colony all set up here. Kumalod. Kumalod? I think that's how it's pronounced. So we'll just see what's up there. If there's something I want, I'll go ahead and set up a... Um, colony, I guess, send it up there, although we need to take care of this money situation. This is a problem. Let me see here. Where is our other science ship? Right here. Go ahead and go survey that system. I haven't even been there yet. Let's go ahead and do that. For all I know, we could have something great there and I don't even know about it. Hmm. Would you be interested? Uh, would you be interested in... Have I traded with you before? How about star charts? Oh, I think we already have. Never mind. How about a non-aggression pledge? I'm sure that would actually help our relations with you. I, mean, I have no interest in going to war with you anytime soon, so we'll just do that. Whatever. 
see if that actually helps with the relations. I'm kind of curious about this. We're going to just do this as an experiment. I'm not interested in going to war with you. I think our main threat is these guys over here on the other arm. And we, the three of us, should probably unite against that threat. Just saying. Trade offer. Okay. Non-aggression pledge. We may come to regret this. Why? Okay. Uh, okay. Was there anything over here? Got some energy I can get out of this. Um, looks like our neighbors up there have some ships scouting out the area too. What exactly are the Hisma? Are they... I guess they're a fungoid. I don't know. Alright, I guess I'll just jump off screen until something exciting happens. Well, it probably won't with the speed that low. An idiot. But we have resources here we haven't taken advantage of yet. Let's go ahead and set you up there on Stars. Our home system, and we still have energy here we can be taken advantage of. Out of curiosity, let's look here. Can I upgrade that? Not at the moment. We can clear that tile. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, do we have all... Yeah, we can clear all these. Let's go ahead and clear the ones with the energy there. Uh, we have received a communique from a previously unknown space-faring empire. They call themselves the Imakara Serene Confederacy. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in the, to the communications of another empire. Hello. You're interesting. I am authorized to offer you cordial greetings from the Imakara Serene Confederacy. We have built a peaceful system of government that operates under the supervision <clears throat> excuse me, of a council led by coordinator Slur Hus, may our two nations know nothing but peace. Uh, we could learn much from each other. Take a look at them real quick. Where are they? Here they are. They are fanatical pacifists. Oh, slow down for a sec. Slow, slow, slow down. They are a harmonious collective. I don't think I've seen that type before. Harmonious collectives are collectivist societies where the citizens are devoted to the state without the need for coercion. They tend to keep to themselves, but are not averse to trading. Let's go ahead and research that. Probably should have read that. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, wait. I'm already over here. Never mind. Where are we? Okay, they're on the other side of the Vanakan. So I think I might try to build up an alliance between the four of us here. Maybe make a confederacy. Or a federation. Uh, rivalry. Okay. Physics. Let's... I'm not going to go for that. Uh, let's go for... Alex. Oh, okay, we actually need that. Let's go with that. Any habitable worlds. We have an ocean world. Can't do anything with that. That looks like it. Let's, um... System survey complete. Not there. Although I might head out that way soon to clear out whatever is out there. Because it looks like we still have some enemies there. Travel through this system, take a quick look at it. Kind of interested if this planet or its moons are habitable. Guess we'll see. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on LJG-354F. Incredibly, this civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrex, seems to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age of the artifacts indicate they were active from 600,000 years ago, in this portion of the galaxy at least, but we have learned nothing of their exact origins. According to a partial data fragment that our scientists managed to extract from one of their artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all living, all sentient organic life in the galaxy for reasons unknown. The Reapers? <laughs> what is that? Oh, I thought that was a spaceship. I just realized it's a hand holding a brush of some kind dusting off a relic. Oh, interesting. Situation okay. log updated. Uh, fleet order finished. Construction complete. Okay. Hoping we get this done fast so I can actually start, um, 
What is this? Oh, first satellite. Our long-range tracking systems have detected the first launch of an artificial satellite from the surface of Bundoga. It successfully achieved orbit and marks the start of a building, budding space program initiated by the planet's alien civilization. Okay, that's for taking these first. Uh, that's. Oh, these are that's these guys here we were watching. Um, did I ever? Oh, we did. Okay, we are currently. Oh wait, you know what? We need to actually allow. We need to allow enlightenment. Let's come over here to policies. Uh, Native enlightenment allowed. We'll go ahead and do that. How much would that cost a month? Five per month. I'm making that much, but I would like to have a little more wiggle room. Let's go ahead and start that out now. Go ahead and do that. Um, and I guess what I should do now is try to find more energy, which we seem to have over here. Aha! Okay. I need you to come here. I need you to build a mining station there. And then another one here. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Okay, that should work. A war between the Zukai Mondor and the Quick's Lufren Mandate. Who is this? These two over here? Yes, it is. Okay. Doesn't really affect us. How's things coming along over here? They're going great. What is this world? Oh, that's an ocean world. Not interest. Uh, that is... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we might... Where is this? Alright, I'm going to... We need to get some more energy coming in first. But I'm going to build a new colony, and he's going to have to go there pretty quickly. System survey complete. There we go. I think he'll go there after he's done here. Yeah, okay. Is that within our borders? It is. So we can actually head over here and build mining station. Okay. So he's got a lot he's going to have to do. But I'm going to try to make it here. Should I go ahead and start work on... I think I'll do it. Let's go ahead. Pop up a private colony ship. Might be a good idea. That will kind of cut back on some money. Yeah, let's go with that. Let that roll. And I guess I'll jump off screen until something else happens. Okay, he's done. You. Can we settle here? 50. Out of curiosity, let's give this a try. I don't think we can settle that, but I'm kind of curious. No, we cannot, so I just wasted a bunch of money. Construction complete. <laughs> Um, we do have a new Corvette up and ready. I guess I'll send him to meet up with... Should I send him to the first Territorial Guard? Or... Hmm. Who's the weakest? I'm kind of keeping you kind of small, because you're just exploring for us. Where's he at? Right there. 117. So I'll go ahead and send him over to the first Territorial Guard. Why not? Set him here. Grab you guys. Send you over here. Um, let me look at something real quick. I just realized something. Maybe... We do not have the air colonization. That's why. Okay. 
I was kind of hoping the reason is because we hadn't explored it completely. That way I wouldn't feel like such an idiot. System I think I will complete. send you here just to check that out. Well, I'm kind of hoping. Survey that system. Uh, survey that system. Polaris. Why does that sound familiar? <laughs> Alright, anything good? Nothing really here. What about here? What's that? Ocean world. That's no good. So I messed up. And I'm not really too interested in putting down another outpost to expand our territory because that costs us influence I mean I could rival somebody and it would probably be the space Nazis over here but um hmm we're equivalent to you I don't know I just don't know No worlds up here we can colonize. Um. Well. I don't know what to do from here. I would like to fortify our position here in Tokvan. Tokvan. Because, well, I trust our neighbors to the south down Research here, but... Complete. You know, just better be careful. Anything new here? We can get we can get lasers. We can definitely get some improvements here to our ships. I'm gonna grab deflectors. I think. We'll go with that. Um. And I don't know where to go from here, partners. So. I think I'm going to call this the episode. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Very much appreciated. It really helps me out. I, I'll probably... I'll probably get rid of this colony ship. Unless we see something here. And we've already looked here. That's just an ocean world. Alright, real quick. I'm going to send you over here. I don't want to block in our friends to the north. But I, I'm just... I made a big mistake, and I want to try to fix this. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Okay. So I'll probably get rid of that calling ship. I'm going to call this here, partners. Thanks for watching. I will see y'all next time. Bye bye So what's next? I'm really tempted to declare war on Louisiana right now. And just try to grab my claim before somebody else gets it. Uh, let's declare war. Claim Louisiana.